Uh, I've just received a pretty frantic call. Um, the guy, his daughter's been bitten by a snake. Now, I told him immediately just to do snake bite first aid, but we're waiting on a photo. Um, they're going to send it through straight away, but I've told them already to put a bandage on, call an ambulance if there's any doubt. Uh, based on their description, it didn't sound like a tree snake. They thought it was a tree snake. They said brown with black bands and 30 centimetres long, which to me sounds like a baby brown snake. So hopefully this photo will come through ASAP. Yeah, mate. Hey, mate, um, have you sent the photo? Yeah, I did. Did you not get it? No, it hasn't come through. Did you sent it by text. Oh, okay. By text. Yeah. Is um so oh. where have you have you put a bandage on on the limb? On her on her arm, yeah. Yeah, perfect. And she's sitting down. Yep. And we're calling the ambulance as well. Perfect. Phone from here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's one hundred percent an eastern brown snake. Okay. All right. Um, I'll give you my address. Yep. That's hectic. Um, yeah, so I've just uh, had a photo come in of a snake that I believe their pet had in their mouth. And the person involved who's been bitten has actually gone in, I guess, to try and separate the snake and the pet. Um, we definitely don't recommend doing that. If the snake's already in the pet's mouth, there's not much else you can do. Just try to separate the the dog from the snake and then grab the snake and the snake's bitter on the thumb and it is an eastern brown snake so very very serious situation um we're only 10 minutes away to go pick up the snake and hopefully the ambulance is less than that but i'm going to give them a call back as well just regarding their dog um just because it'll need to go to the vet Come on, this patient this is Snake Catcher. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you? All right, that. Snake's behind you in this. I think that was in sarcasm. We won't go anywhere near it. We're both scared of snakes. Yeah, well. And just see if it's. Oh, actually. See, just here. Might have yeah. a puncture wound. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it to the wildlife hospital. Don't get too close, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a, looks like a little injury, you see. Yeah. But if you can keep me updated too. Yeah, I'll on, let you know how, she how goes. she's going. All right, guys, just want to do a quick summary of that. So, obviously, the lady's been bitten. Um, it was probably 10, 15 minutes until the bandage went on. So, just a reminder if you're ever bitten by a snake, and if there's any doubt that you don't know what it is, and probably better to be safe than sorry, just put a bandage on straight away and uh, call an ambulance. So the ambulance obviously were there, they've arrived, they're gonna take it to the hospital now and do all the appropriate tests. She'll probably spend the next 12 hours to a day in hospital making sure that she's okay. Just um, a quick thing on the actual situation. The dog had the snake in its mouth. You know, if a dog has got, or a cat's got a snake in its mouth, there's no point you going in and grabbing it off it, which she did. So we all love our pets, but it's just, yeah, you've got to be so careful when it comes to dogs and snakes and actually handling snakes yourself. So take a few things out of this, guys, and just be safe out there uh, when it comes to snakes. We are in Twin Waters, lovely spot to live, that's for sure. But um, plenty of snakes around here as well. And it sounds like we've got a brown snake right on uh, some rocks on the edge of the water, so hopefully it's still here when we arrive. Where's the oh, house is just there, so we'll rush in now and hopefully find it. Give us some thought, oh, man, we going? Good mate, sir. Yeah, I went to pick up that. What's he doing? Do you have any around here? Yeah, we get a few. He's a... <sighs> My shadow's gonna get in his. You're right, bud. Straight in the back. Straight in the back. <laughs> Is that little danger size? Yeah, I thought so. Yep, any reason. All right, got this gorgeous little brown snake. See if we can get a bit of a, a view of it before it takes off. There he is. Hey, go the other way. Go the other way. Hey. Stay still, Kurt. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Straight through your legs. Here we go. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. Little red belly on the move in a Twin Waters backyard. We catch plenty of red bellies in this suburb. Um, it's actually coming up here. We're just about to pull up in front of the house. Hopefully it's still there. The lady's doing her best to keep an eye on it. But we'll see how we go. 20 minutes ago. Okay. He was partly on the road here. Yep. It looked like sunning itself. Yay, about yay long uh, red belly. Yeah. And it sort of scampered back and started moving in and out of the quadrant there. Yeah. Came back out probably about 10 minutes ago, looking as though it was wanted to head back. Oh, here he is. You're right, bud. Hey. You might just go straight in the bag here. You're right. There you go. Like a train one. <laughs> Excellent. All done. All right. Hey, little red belly. Just cruising around a retirement village. And as you can see, when I actually um, put the bag down, it was exposed on the road and... All it wanted to do was find shelter, so yeah, you come. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, just a little red belly. Oh. See you, buddy. Going out to a home in Kaluan here. They've got a snake in the rafters out the back. Not too comfortable with it being there. I think it's right above their back door too. So uh, we're just going to find some bushland nearby. There's some good bushland sort of on the outskirts of Kaluan and Budrum here. So we'll be able to find a nice little spot for it. But we'll go catch it first. Nearly all the time, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we were getting... Yeah, quite yeah. often. Sorry. That's all right. All good. Oh, wow. That just keeps going. Holy dooly. I only saw from like... Here forwards, I was like, oh yeah, just a small little python. But yeah, it's probably a couple of meters long, I reckon. Yeah, not a bad size. I reckon it's a sheep. A sheep? Why do you say that? Well, I reckon that it's probably get, trying to get a feed of our bird. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Jeez, I'm not very uh, aware this morning, but um, hey. Oh, I'll say. Oh, boy. That's right, snakes don't actually have ears, so you can yell and scream all you like. Oh. Right. Oh, it's too tricky for me. Oh. So it's all about being gentle with them as much as possible. You're right. There we go, nearly there. It's got to be nice and gentle as possible. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Got there eventually. Beautiful snake. Aren't you? Definitely cold needs, I think all snakes have been waiting for the sun to come out lately. It's just been wet, wet, wet. All right, buddy, in you go. We'll go find you a nice warm spot. The sun is coming out, which is good. There we go, done. Beautiful python, quite cold. Um, found a nice spot in underneath the roof at the, uh, the back of the house. But they were just a little bit nervous about it. It was right near their uh, back door. But we'll let him go. There's some nice little exposed areas through here. So if the sun does come out, the snake will be able to warm up pretty pretty easy. It's a pretty long snake when it stretches out. There you go. Just received a frantic phone call from one of our return customers. Uh, she's currently up on the kitchen bench 
and um, yeah, she's in a bit of a panic. There's a snake, a brown colored snake on the move in her house. So we're gonna race over there now and uh, see if we can catch it and relocate it for her. Knock, knock. Bit of excitement for the evening. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm on the kitchen bench. <laughs> So you can turn that light on there. This one here? Yeah. What have we got? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like kill back, I reckon. Okay. They're not gonna eat it. No. <laughs> yeah, so he's a little kill back, so he's snuck inside. It's perfect weather for them too at the moment. Bit of moisture out, bit of rain, humidity. You're right, bud. Yeah. I'll put him straight in the bag so he doesn't stink on me. There you go, hey. Give me the bag. There you go. Thank you. No worries at all. <laughs> all good. <sighs> I love it how you're up there. <laughs> all right, Mr. Keelback. Beautiful spot for you out here. Well, see ya. Well, Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not a bad size, so yeah, still got... Still got the bat in there. Still got the bat slowly digesting. That's a week. Wouldn't be the uh, tastiest meal, I don't think. <laughs> the no. old bat. No. No, it's had bits of arms sticking out. Yeah, it's just... Whenever, whenever they um, swallow bad, it, it never seems to go in comfortably. No, it's good. Yeah, you're going to have my friend. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, he's pretty okay. quick on fire, Okay. Yeah, right. What are they going to It looks like more like a viper than a viper. There you go. <laughs> No, he's just defending himself. Yeah. Plus, he knows he's a bit slower than usual because he's got he's got full belly. Yeah. See you, buddy. <laughs>